We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings open up the 2012 high school football season. Alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, tonight West is in town. We had them last year when they opened against North. Uh, they've had a real tough time winning football games the last three years. One win. Uh, what are South's chances tonight? Well, on a positive level, you know, obviously you think that this is one, if you're Coach Hine, you're going to just notch in the win column. But like anything happens in high school football, you never know. But I think it's great to play west of your south because it's kind of like an exhibition season. We just started the season off. You know, your first game, is, I know it's a regular season and things like that, but you're not going up against one of the powerhouses. You can kind of tweak things. You're not playing against yourself in practice. I know they scrimmaged last week. But if you have to play somebody in the league, why don't you open up against Green Bay West? Well, it's not just opening against Green Bay West. The next week they have, uh, they're at Preble, and then the week after that they have East, and none of those three teams are real strong. South has a real strong possibility of starting the season 3-0. Well, and that's what you want to do. Obviously, the goal every year, and Coach Hine talked about in the coaches' show, that what he wants to do is make it to the playoffs, and that's the goal. South's only made it to the playoffs once out of the seven years, and for every coach... You know, you want to get those four wins, so you don't care who they're against in your conference, and get to the playoffs. And, you know, that's kind of how teams are kind of talked about it. How many years have you made the playoffs, not made the playoffs? And, and that's what this team would like to do as well. well. On a related note, this is going to be Chris's last year as high school football coach here at South because he's moving into the athletic director's position. But uh, foregoing that, this year the season is a little bit different. They're not playing nine games. They're only playing eight. Yeah, and that's really disappointing, you know, and I, I talk about it all the time, and one, one thing I always tell the coaches is, I mean, this is a, a sport that basically you have to work 52 weeks out of the year. I mean, there's lots of prep time in the weight room, and it's, it starts already in, you know, December and January and February. All summer, kids are doing stuff in the weight room. You have seven on sevens, and it all comes down, and you're judged on just eight games. So the, the WIA, with the schedule and things, well, they ask the coaches, do you want to start practice like to August 1st? or And with Thanksgiving and uh, hunting the the they only get to play eight games. That's really too bad for the kids. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineup and the kickoff for tonight's football game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public educational and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. At this time, we would like to introduce the visiting team as a team. I am Sandy.
Sammy and I have high cholesterol. Specifically, Sammy and I have familial hypercholesterolemia, or FH, an inherited genetic disease that causes high cholesterol, often starting in childhood. FH affects more than 600,000 Americans, but often goes undiagnosed, leading to premature heart attack and death. If caught early, FH is treatable. Do you know if high cholesterol runs in your family? See a doctor and get screened. For more information, visit www.learnyourlipids.com. Imagine a child struggling to breathe, to speak, to eat. That's the tragic reality for the thousands of children born every year in the developing world with a cleft palate or cleft lip. Yet all it takes is a simple surgery that costs as little as $250 to repair a cleft and change a child's life forever. Please call. Your gift of any amount will help. Call 1-800-953-2458 or visit www.savemary.com. Uh, South High School where uh, Robert Huffman is getting ready to kick off. Uh, they introduced the uh, starting the, the teams uh, instead of the starting lineups. So uh, you didn't miss anything. Uh, both teams ran out on the field and uh, South lost the toss and uh, they will be kicking off. What's weird is there's still a minute on the clock, Marty, and yeah, we've the teams are all ready to go. Let's go. Of, a lot of air time to fill. Back deep is uh, James Kramer, number two, for uh, the Wildcats. They've got the clock set up now, Chris. Are Huffman, you ready for some football? Yep, Huffman on the approach, line drive kick, taken by Kramer at about the 16. And uh, he slips through, he's gonna be up over the 40 yard line before he's finally knocked down, a great return. I would say. James Kramer with a nice return for Green Bay West. Tackle made up there. 25 yard return. It's going to be first and 10 for the uh, Wildcats. Ball's on the 42 yard line. We'll call it the 42 yard line. Kramer in the backfield. Man in motion, the pitch back. And taken down was uh, Seth Holscher. Dakota Gamma is on the tackle there. Dakota played last year quite a bit. Number 24, he's a senior. It's going to be second down and 13 ball spotted on the 39 yard line. Well, you get that nice return and then you go backwards right away. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. Inside handoff and. Uh, the running back stacked right at the line of scrimmage. Kramer comes up. James Kramer with the carry. We talked about, uh, excuse me, we talked to Coach Hine and the coaches show and one thing he really wanted to get back to was playing good solid defense this year, Sheboygan South, and said stuff about going back to the fundamentals and good tackling and let's hope that's what we expect from the Red Wings this year and things like that happen. Passing situation, Marty. Yep. Back deep and uh, throwing into uh, double coverage was uh, the quarterback, Justin Boressa, and uh, the pass goes incomplete. Broken up nicely by number 10, John Rath, at number 24. Good defense that time by uh, South. Fourth and 12. Well, West, West absolutely struggled last year, Marty, on offense. They only scored against East. And uh, right away, they got uh, minus two in the books. Tristan Schmidt, number uh, six, is back deep along with uh, Emmett Dean, number 23. Penalty on uh, West. Going to be fourth down again. This time it's going to be about fourth and 18. Good snap. The kick is away. Almost blocked by uh, Zach Bolt. And fumble. Then fumble. And West looks like they have it down on South's 35 yard line. Yes, they do. 
Recovered by uh, by Curtis Busey. Oh boy. West is going to retain possession. It's going to be spotted on the 35 yard line. That's a big turnover, Chris. Kramer in the backfield. Inside handoff. The oh running my. back, the long strider, gets down to the 10 yard line. That was uh, TJ Carrington. And uh, he showed good speed, but we got holding on West. Oh that play my. is coming back. Boy, oh boy. You know, that play right there, Chris, is the inside reverse. That was one of the three plays that South used to run back in the 60s. They had a, basically an offense that went on three plays, and uh, that was their counter. And, uh, boy, they ran the ball really well back in the day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your story from the 60s. We're going to try to get back to that this year. <laughs> That's just too bad for Green Bay West. Big, big play for them and taken away by a holding penalty. And, and another, another penalty. Oh. oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, is right. That's uh, the third penalty on them, Chris. <laughs> First in a long way. Sim Saver. Thanks for uh, him helping us out with pronunciation. Yeah, right away to start off. TJ Carrington, number 22. In motion is uh, Olsher. Inside handoff. Running back is uh, not going anywhere. Had a host of South defenders take him down. Getting up off the bottom of the pile was number 59, Matt Fox. Matt had a good season last year as well, as did Forrest Martinez in there. Half the starters are back for South this year, and so expectations are a little bit higher for Coach Hine and his staff. Four wide receivers, two to the left, two to the right for uh, Boressa. He's in the pocket, cranks it up deep. Got a receiver out there, but the pass is incomplete. On the defensive side was uh, Mitchell Martinez. Mitchell Martinez, also a baseball player. He is fast, Marty. That's his uh, MO. Well, he's got a wide receiver number and he's playing defensive back. That uh, I think he'll be uh, in a little bit of the, on offense as well, Marty. And on the program, they got DB and wide receiver, so you're right, we may see him there. Three wide receivers off to the left this time, one to the right. Boressa straight back, under pressure, lets it go, and it's incomplete. Good. Pass intended for uh, Holscher. Good pressure there. Fox up there. Fourth down. Probably forced to throw a little early there. Could see Kramer, you know, looking where the pressure was coming from, and uh, he just wasn't quite quick enough to catch the uh, lineman coming in. Was that Fox you said applied the pressure? Yep, and what a difference. They would have had first down on about the 15, and that holding penalty marched him back, and it just got worse after that for the Wildcats. Tristan Schmidt back. Blocked! I think the block was made by number 32, Taylor Gregory. We'll have to see if we get a replay of that. But uh, what a change of field position. Here you see 32 coming in, untouched. He did do the blocking. Well, Rodriguez would have gotten there too. Gregory was just faster. <laughs> yeah, really. First and 10 for South. Ball spotted on the 32. Knuth at quarterback. 
Played tight end last year, Marty. Yeah, it's a change for him. And that's going to be offside on West. Number, or pardon me, Curtis Busey uh, stepped across the line. You can't do that in high school football and go back once you cross the line of scrimmage. It's a penalty. That'll make it first and five, Chris. Fourth penalty already. Yeah. We've only played it. 252. Ben Steen is the uh, deep back. He's number 34. Three-year player. And he's quick. Push back. Looking to get to the outside, but a nice defensive play by uh, Holscher. I thought Ben really came into his own last year, especially late in the season. He's got great speed. Expectations for Ben have always been high, and I definitely think the second half of the year last year, he really came into his own and probably wants a great senior season. The up back in this formation is Andrew Wildman, number 44. It's uh, second down and one. Pitch out to Steen again, looking to get the edge. Trying to dive for the first down. Again, a nice defensive play made by uh, the West defender. I think it was Austin Travers. 24 on the uh, tackle, Travis Hermson. Uh, that, that wasn't Steen, though. Still third and one. Yeah, that was 28 that carried that one, Marty. Okay. Steen in the backfield this time. Yep. Up back, Wildman gets the first down. He's down to about the 20. Coach Hines very excited about Wildman filling that fullback role, that, which has been so, you know, I just remember Billman and a couple of the other guys that have played that position. That's been such an important position for uh, Sheboygan South. You know, out of there, at least what they've done in the past, that uh, up back is so important, especially from the receiving part of it too. Pitch back to the running back. He's through the line of scrimmage. That's Tristan Schmidt. Tristan does some returning, Chris, and uh, so he's got pretty good speed. Also plays some basketball. Good athlete. Pick up a five on that run. Nice run. Second down and five. Ball on the 15-yard line. Steen and Wildman in the backfield. Martinez is split out to the left. Knuth barking the signals. Second back through is Steen. And he's hit in the backfield and dragged down. Good defensive play that time by Travis Hermson. He's been in there a couple times. Boys up front have to do a little better job of uh, blocking. It's going to be third down and about uh, eight, Chris. We're going to time out here, Marty. Green Bay West with a timeout. All right, timeout West. We're going to take a short timeout with 6.30 left in the first quarter. No score. Oh, so dude, I did the most shocking thing today. It was just something I never thought I'd do. Did your parents find out? My mom cried. What'd you do? Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. A shotgun, Wildman behind him. Snap. The pass is deep to Martinez. He's got his hands on it and makes the catch. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. 
Just a nice lofting pass there by Knuth. Good air time and Martinez, all he had to do was run under it. He's an outfielder, Chris, so he knows about those oh, yeah. catching, yep. catching balls. Played on the U-17 Legion State Championship, made an outstanding catch. I believe in like the semifinal games that with the bases loaded. There you see him catching it there. Good catch. Huffman to attempt the extra point. Good snap and set. The kick is low, it's no good. With uh, 6.24 remaining in the first quarter, Sheboygan South 6, West nothing. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. We're asking folks about marriage. You know, marriage makes me think of... Back at South High School, and there you see the Red Wings coming out, getting ready to uh, kick off to West. The uh, strange turn of events here, Chris. You know, West got a fumbled punt by South deep in there in South's territory and had a run down to the 10-yard line that was called back. And uh, once that happened, it was marching backwards for the Wildcats. Yep. And uh, South returned the favor on the fumble punt by blocking their punt. And... Uh, Got it in position and uh, we're able to punch it in. Robert Huffman, another outstanding baseball player, number one kicking off. Kick is uh, deep taken by Boosie at the six yard line. Changes direction, avoids a couple of tacklers before he's finally wrestled down outside the 20 yard line. It's going to be first and 10, Green Bay West. Ball spotted on the 23. Baressa still at quarterback. Fake handoff, it's a keeper up the middle. And he grinds it forward for about three yards. Pick up a three on that play, Chris makes it second and seven. Anything positive yards for West is uh, good for them. Yeah, they've Just had trouble blocking and then the penalties. Carrington, fumble recovered in the backfield by the Wildcats, but they're gonna have it back near the 25. Third down for West, man in motion. Oh, oh, slicing in there and making the sack was uh, Sheboygan South Dakota Gamez. Wow, was, he came out of nowhere. Yep, talk about being untouched. <laughs> no chance. No chance is right. Just, and again, fourth and long for West and uh, This would be the third punt in the first eight minutes here. Lazy snap back to the punter last and that was a little bit better. Still getting in there with Schmidt, or Bolt, pardon me. Tristan Schmidt's got he's an alley. Wall. Gets a block on the edge. Gets another block, he's gonna be inside the 10 and he's thrown out of bounds. What a return. Great setup by the Red Wings. Yep. You're right, the setup was there and there was a huge wall. And there was no way the West guys were gonna get through there without getting picked off by red shirts. 
right into your homes, people. Great shot, Eric. Gregory, you got to hit somebody, though. Hall is going to be uh, at the eight yard line. Steen is the deep back. Wildman, the up back, gets the handoff and gets it into the end zone. No, they're going to mark him down just outside the end zone. A pickup of about seven. Well, now they give it to him. Sometimes it's better when you have to wait, Chris. And you saw it right away, Marty. You saw it before the officials. <laughs> I'm kind of like Fritch. I can call him from all over. Another touchdown for uh, South. 4.04 remaining in the quarter. Huffman is going to try and get this one through the uprights. I hear a lot of flags. That one was good. Yep. Illegal procedure. Move it back. It'll be more like a field goal now. Yeah, it's 12-0. South. Eight yard run by uh, Andrew Wildman. As he punches it in the end zone. Huffman again lined up. Another good snap and set. And he drills it through. With 4.04 remaining in the first, South on top now, 13 to nothing. We're asking folks about marriage. You know, marriage makes me think of sports. You know, teamwork, dedication. Okay, let's see what people say. Let's say your marriage is a sport. What sport would it be? Basketball. Surfing. It have to be a team sport. A lot of back and forth. A lot of people watching. So how many people are influenced by your marriage? Hundreds. You really think about the ripple effect. It's like a wave. <laughs> Want to improve your marriage? For ideas, go to foryourmarriage.org and message from the Catholic Church. No, it was on this side of the 50. Because I got a 33-yard punt, 15 to that. Here we go, Marty. Robert Hoffman going to kick off for the third time in the first quarter. Yep. Kramer and Bussey back deep for the Wildcats, ready to receive Hoffman's kick. There, you get a great shot of him. Good job there, Eric. Eric Wiesman, our field cameraman. Richard Bartson on top. Scott Mailoff is our director. And your announcers are Chris Wright, the coach, and the mouth, Mike Martin. Kumaro again on a special teams tackle that's twice in a row. Number 17 there, the 5'11 junior. All right, it's going to be first and 10 Wildcats. Ball is going to be spotted on the, uh, we'll call it the 28th. They've had trouble with the blocking up front. Carrington gets the pitch out. He had a long run last time. This time uh, South uh, is able to bottle him up. He gets back to about the line of scrimmage. That's it. Big number 75 for West. Adam Smith uh, gets up last. He was out there trying to throw a block. Gama is in there again on the play. Martinez on the play. It's going to be second down. A little bit of a loss on that play. Or pardon me, a gain of one. Uh, you could see the movement within the line, Chris. It's going to be on west. Oh, it's got to be driving the coach crazy. Five. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro. Mm -hmm. 
Ball is spotted on the 24. It's going to be a second down and 14. South with a four down lineman. Man in motion gets the ball. That was uh, Tang Lore. Matt Fox on the play. 250 pounder. A senior. Moore with positive yards on that play. It's going to be a third and ten. Well, the penalties have just... They've always put them in a bad position. Yeah, just... You know, they got hard enough time blocking to get ten yards, and all yep. of a sudden you're trying to get 15. Good rush by South. And uh, Schmidt, pardon me, Zach Bolt, number 30, making the sack. No, you're right. Ethan Schmidt. Ethan Schmidt on the Oop, I'm looking at the wrong roster. Yep, Ethan Schmidt there. and Yeah, I talked to his dad right before we came up here. So we want to get that right. Ethan Schmidt on the sack. And they're going to be punting. Holsher back to do the punting. Kick is away. And uh, good decision that time by uh, the Red Wings. It's going to be downed on about the 46 yard line or so. Be first and 10 Red Wings. Long quarter, Marty. Very long. Very long. We need to have them do a couple of running plays, Chris, so we don't run out of lines. We're down to line 32. Each page has 40. In case uh, we got people that are new to our operation. Wildman in the backfield. Eight guys up on the line. Pitch back to Steen. He's got the spats on, he breaks loose. And knocked out of bounds right at about the 20 yard line. Good run by Steen and Travis Hermson on the uh, tackle. Well, that's just poor option defense there, Marty. They took the quarterback, but there was nobody in white shirts on the uh, pitch man. And that was Steen. Well, it almost looked like they hadn't practiced it. Against it, I mean. Schmidt and Wildman in the backfield. That's Tristan Schmidt, number six. And option to the right. And he's not going anywhere. He's going to get hit back outside the 25-yard uh, line. Much better job by the Wildcats that time. Well, that time it looked like West kind of spread it out a little bit, Marty, and there wasn't yeah. really any lanes to run in. Yeah, they definitely did that. They strung it out well. Which makes them easily set up for a reverse. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> All right, second down and 15. Knuth back, fires deep. He's got a receiver out there. One-handed catch is made by Taylor Gregory. Oh, man. Looks like there might have been some interference, and uh, he just put his one paw up there, Chris, and hauled it in. Let's see it right here. Good protection up front. Watch this. He's got a hold of one arm. Nope, he didn't, but he still made the catch. Great replay. A lot of air on that ball, Marty. Nice chances for Gregory to, to get under that ball. Good job by Jake Knuth to put it there. Huffman's kick is good. With nine seconds remaining in the quarter, it's 9 20 to nothing south.
At South High School, Huffman getting a workout this quarter, Chris, with uh, kickoffs and extra points. Kramer back deep, along with uh, Busi. Kick is way taken at about the uh, eight yard line. Kramer is knocked down at about the 18. It'll be first and ten for uh, West. Ball is going to be spotted at the 19 yard line. It's, uh, it's bad enough when it's a long quarter, but when you're the team down 20 to nothing, that's even worse. Yep. By the way, I must say the soda really tastes good tonight, Chris. You were Johnny on the spot buying us a couple of soda pops. Appreciate that. You didn't buy one last football season. <laughs> yeah, that's not But true. Uh, we're not going to talk about last year. That's this year. We're talking this year now. Inside handoff. Running back doesn't get much. That was uh, Kramer, and that's the end of the quarter. Give Kramer about a three yard pickup. And at the end of one quarter of play, South on top, 20 to nothing. Madre is an international women's human rights organization. And what we do is work in small community based women's groups in places where women and families are really struggling, either because of war or poverty. Even while times are hard for us here, you know, things are much more dire in other parts of the world. And if we're able to, each of us give what we can, it really makes a tremendous difference. Wherever women are standing up for peace and for human rights, Madre is there. Please join us. Back at South High, there you see the score. I was just uh, adding up some uh, running totals here for the Wildcats. They've run the ball nine times and uh, have no yards. And no passing yards. And no passing yards. They're 0 for 3 passing. So uh, first quarter, their total offense is zero. We'll try to get the uh, Southsiders figured out here while we have a little bit of a break. But, you know, they show some signs, Marty. They had that nice run, and they, they get three and four yards at a time. But, uh, you know, we've mentioned before, when you have so many penalties. Score from uh, Pulaski. North down 14 to nothing after one. I've got uh, South with uh, eight carries, 32 yards. They've, uh, they're two for two on passing for 43 yards. The quarterback trying to avoid from getting hit too hard. Justin Boressa on the scramble there. Well, it looked like he wanted to. And he loses yardage. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to throw a, like a, some type of wide receiver quick hitch or right off the line, but uh, <laughs> the right receiver wasn't there, Marty. Didn't quite work out that way. So they start off the uh, second quarter with uh, a loss of about three yards. It's going to make it uh, third down and ten. Nice pass. Catch is made by Holscher. But uh, it's going to be short of the first down. Number 
Well, they allowed the West receiver to catch it, but Jake Malowitz there on a the nice play, number 20. Good one-on-one -on -one tackle. That's a good point, Chris. Those tackles in the open field can uh, make a huge difference. This is the fifth punt for West already. And they're going to go for it. Or they're just going to go for it fourth and two. I'm sorry, Marty. No, that's all right. I think that's probably a good decision by the Wildcats. Timeout uh, by South with 10.36 remaining until halftime. Red Wings up 20 to nothing. It's uh, going to be fourth and two when we come back, and we'll have to see if West uh, continues to uh, try to go for it. Hi, I'm Jeff Daniels. Want to play? I first picked up a guitar 30 years ago, and what started out as a hobby quickly became a way of life. Playing music isn't about perfection, it's about fun and self-expression. See how you can get started at wantaplaymusic.com. Cable access channels are critical tools for local government. They provide important information about issues, services, and programs, as well as local emergencies. They also allow you to watch your local elected officials in action. Through the provision of governmental access channels, our communities are kept informed, educated, and entertained. Where else can you get information about your local government? Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local government access channel. West coming back out on the field. Chris is going for it on fourth down. Takes me back quite a few years, but the game we did at Oshkosh Titan Stadium when South had a fourth down in the first half of their playoff yeah. game. And, uh, wow, <laughs> it was very disjointed. I was wondering why there wasn't a penalty called, but uh, they let him play on, and uh, West was uh, hit for a loss. I think the center sent, centered it to the quarterback, or snapped it to the quarterback, and <laughs> none of the West players were. Here's the replay, Marty. And there it is. Everybody's <laughs> waiting for the snap count. Oh. You know, that's a good play if you stand there and the quarterback just takes it and goes. But Isn't that supposed to be kind of like the fumble Ruski, but the tackle forgot to pick it up and run with it? There's Wildman again. Wildman. Ball was spotted on the 25. Wildman gets it down to a near the 20. South moving forward. Let's call it the 21. So pick up a four. Second down and six. Wide receivers left and right. Uh, Gregory out to the left. Pitch out. Boris Ristovich gets the first down. Penalty flag, Marty. Oop. They all be coming back. Yes, it will. The penalty is going to be on south. First one, though, I think, on the Red Wings. Hey, we'd have to go back and check, but I believe you're right. I got W's behind all these uh, penalty dealies that I wrote down. Holding on south. It's, it's going to remain. I'm going to put it at the uh, 25 again. Penalty must have happened downfield somewhere. It's second down and 10. Wildman in the backfield, Knuth in the shotgun. Wide receivers, two to the right, one to the left. In motion is Steen. And uh, we get uh, offside on West. Chris has uh, been very patient here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He usually uh, gets on the officials quite early when there are too many penalties being called. But uh, First game of the year, Marty. I think both teams. What are you going to do? And there yeah. you see the uh, grounds crew, Thomas Hoppert. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Lafine running the chain there. They've been at this for uh, quite a few <laughs> years, longer than we've been announcing. Matter of fact, you could take our time announcing and add it together and... Uh, They've been doing their job longer. Pass to Schmidt is incomplete. It's 
the first and first incompletion by uh, by Jake Knuth. Otherwise, he's been pretty good. Third down. Still ten yards to go. Pardon me, third and five on the penalty. Inside handoff to Wildman, and uh, he stumbles forward to about the 17. I think this is a situation where you're obviously going to go with it. I think Andrew Wildman's going to be a good one the next couple of years, Marty. Definitely gets positive yardage every time he touches the ball. That's, you know, and that's important, obviously. Ball is on the 17. Interesting to see what they call here. Steen Maybe is, option. Yeah, Steen is a deep back. That certainly worked before. My brother, West. Jumping offside. Jeez. It looked like it was uh, Ryan Pamperin. Boy, you have your uh, chance to turn him over. Turn over on downs, a little momentum. But what it comes, the seventh penalty. Ay, ay, ay. Only played 15 and a half minutes. Yeah, a lot of penalties. Ball is marked on the 12 yard line. It's first and 10 south. There's a 8 17 left in the first half, and the clock is running. It's 20 to nothing south. Pitch back to Ristakovic. He's down inside right to about the 10. And this one will count. Ristovevich. Very short gain, only two yards. Second down. He's just a sophomore, Marty. He looks like the kind of kid you'd want to get him out in the open. Yep, get him around the corner. He's got pretty good speed. Steen hits the hole hard and gets near the end zone. It's going to be a first down for South. Devontae Jerks there with a nice block, I believe that is. Do I have the right number there, I hope. Yep. McLaughlin there. Gives Steen a nine yard pickup on the play. His first carry of the quarter. He had 27 yards in the first quarter, Chris. He now has 36. Knuth, handoff to Steen, going off tackle left, and he's got the touchdown. Nice blocking up front. Yes. Four TDs, four different guys, Marty. That's uh, pretty sweet. Martinez, Wildman, Gregory, and now Ben Steen gets in the act. Seven oh two remaining in the quarter. Knuth on the uh, placement, but uh, Huffman's kick is wide left, no good. With seven oh two remaining until halftime, it's twenty six to nothing. So there you're going to see the run again. Look at the left side of the line; they do a good job of blocking over there. Wrong shot. There we go. Good blocking. One of the blockers out there on the edge was uh, Dylan Markholtz. Markels with a good block. Our next game, uh, by the way, we do back and forth. South, north, south, north through the eight-week season. Next week, we'll be at North, and they uh, face one of the powerhouses in the conference, Manitowoc. Manitowoc finished first in the conference last year, 8-0, 10-1 on the season. They lost, uh, I believe it was their second game in the playoffs. 
Uh, they lost a lot, but uh, they're still going to be a formidable opponent. Yeah, they lost 27 seniors and a team that could possibly have, have competed in the, and gotten to the state you know, finals there, but they got upset by Riverside, I believe it was. They did lose their quarterback. Yeah, they lost a lot, six all-conference players, but their junior class <laughs> was, was pretty good. Their, their current junior class is pretty good, and uh, that'll be a handful, no doubt about it. Taken on about the 23-yard line by uh, Chambers. Braxton Chambers gets it out to uh, the 27-yard line. I'm telling you, Marty, every once in a while, there's West, you know, they make some plays. They're, they're much better than they were a year ago, and I know it's They've only game some, one. I know, they got some athletes, that's the difference. And uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be easy for them. They do have East on the schedule. Just someone that uh, will be someone they can compete with. They catch them, I believe, in week six, maybe? Nope, not week six. Week seven. Baressa still at quarterback in the shotgun this time. Looking off to the, to the right. Now he's pressured and dragged down. Good well, sack made that time by Matt Fox. Called his name a number of times. Gamas a number of times on defense today. It's still 6.30 in the first half. Loss of 10 on the play, Chris. You can probably hear it over me. It was a loss of 12, not 10. Wow. Wide receivers left and right, two to the left. Short pass to uh, number 22, and that's T.C. Carrington, and he's uh, dragged down at about the 25. He run that play a couple times. It's worked for West. Rare missed tackle by the Red Wings. The defense has been pretty good. We're gonna get something here. They're gonna have to let Martinez out. Wildman coming in on defense. Called his name almost exclusively on uh, offense. Man in motion, Baressa looking, looking, trying to step up, but uh, too much pressure. He gets dragged down inside the 20 yard line at about the 18. Doesn't matter if you're in high school, college, or the pros. When you have time to throw the ball like he did, you got to, you know, you have so many seconds. You got to get rid of it. Well, he waited, 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 and by that time, like you said, the pocket collapsed and the step up was not there. No. But he had time to throw the ball, but. And now will be the fifth punt for the Wildcats. I think they got a new punter back there, Chris. He's bigger. Yeah, a different number. Oh, and a guy running on the field late. No oh penalty boy. called. Look at this. Wildman picks it out of the air. Wow. The guy tried to pull a Brad Nordman, but it didn't work. They had a punt, or excuse me, a penalty. Penalty. It's, it's going to be on word. West because the guy came into the huddle late, so he'd be actually offside. Illegal procedure they're calling. I'm sure Coach Hine will decline this since they have the ball inside the 30. You're going to see it again. Wildman. Oh, over the shoulder catch. <laughs> I think he's a hockey player. All right, South is going to decline the penalty. It's going to be first and 10 Red Wings at the 29 yard line. Steen in the backfield again, whistles, timeout, West, I believe, yes it is. That's their second timeout, they have one remaining. And with uh, 5.09 remaining, we'll be right back.
Last year, TV, I was going to say TV8, WSCS TV finished 2-7 and seven on the season, and we bookended it. We had uh, West at North, the first game of the year. North rolled to a victory there, and then uh, in the North-South game, the last game of the year, Chris uh, took home the city <laughs> to a second win, and those were your bookends. Everything in the middle was a loss. We're hoping for a little better this year, fellas. Steen is the deep back. You give it to Wildman, the up back, and he gets stood up. Finally, he's dragged down. Yeah, we ended up with the uh, North-South game, 21-3 victory right here at South for uh, South that day. Pick up a one yard that time by Wildman. My... Uh, Oh, Last game in high school, Chris, was uh, played here. Our field was in real bad shape due to rain, and I scored a touchdown on this field. And that wasn't a north-south game. We played southwest that day. Little dump-off pass is complete to uh, the wide receiver, Gregory. Knuth back on target. It's going to be first and ten. Up at Pulaski, it's Pulaski 29. North zero. Oops. That was a nine yard pickup on that play. Steen through the line of scrimmage. He's on his way. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Steen showing good speed. Hey, first guy with the second uh, score. Let's take a look at that one again. Nineteen yard run for the touchdown. Steen's got a pretty good night going here, Chris. Twenty eight. 55 yards and only five carries. He's had a 27, 26 yard run and now this 19 yarder. He could be on his way to a 100 yard night. Not a very good snap, but uh, Knuth gets it down, and Huffman boots it through the upright. So with 4.05 remaining in the half, it's 33 to nothing south. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Back at South High School where uh, Ben Steen, and four different people scored, and now Steen scored again, so he's the first player, as Chris was saying, to have two touchdowns on the night. And uh, you got to feel a little bit for Wes, Chris. I mean, they got eight more games to play. Yep. And I think you mentioned it earlier in the broadcast, they had a hard time last year scoring points. Yep, they only scored in one game. And that's gonna, looks like it could be that way this year too. Oh, good scoop that time. Picking the ball up was uh, oh, long run taken out of near the 50 yard line was uh, T.C. Carrington. Huffy with the tackle there too, the kicker. Yeah, 
know, and that's what you're talking about. You know, they show flashes. There's athletes out there. You just got to harness them to uh, play in the game of football. Ball is on the west side of the field at the 49. That was a real nice return by uh, TC. He doesn't want to call Turand. Kramer in motion, handoff to oh. the inside back is a fake, and now the ball is loose and uh, recovered by West. Tanner Martin, I believe, with the hit. Yeah, and uh, Ryan Pamperin making the recovery. Loss of two on the play, ball is spotted back at about the 47 yard line. Pampern gets a carry, Chris. Loss of two. Little pitch out. Trying to get the corner is Kramer. And he gets over the 50 yard line before he's uh, put down. Nice little play there. But again, uh, Poor blocking, Dylan Foley over here, the wide receiver doesn't hold his block. And that uh, allowed another quick tackle there by the Red Wings. I believe that was Gamas. I don't think it was Gamas, now that I'm thinking about it. Too late now. Third down and about eight. Pitch out to Kramer again. He's got the corner, looking to get the first down. He's going to be close. I think he might be just short. Losing their helmet was uh, Forrest Martinez coming off the field. Yeah, Mitchell Martinez on the tackle. That was, again, another one-on-one -on -one tackle. South has done a very nice job tonight, again, on their tackling. Hope they're giving him the first down. Really? Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> Come on. Quit well, splitting air. Well, as long as he gets there, I didn't think he got there. <laughs> I thought he was, I thought Mitchell came up and made a nice stop ahead of time there. 2.10, Marty. Clock running. Good stop and go by Kramer. He picks up uh, positive yardage. He's been their go-to guy here. West is down to just one timeout, and they're just inside the 40. Picked up a two that time. They do have some players, like you said, Marty, with some speed and things. If they could break through the Backfield, but Perez is a big guy. He's kind of on the taller side, 6'1". Inside handoff and a lot of movement in there and uh, Carrington not able to handle the ball and it's uh, fumbled and South recovers. So they not only have the penalties, Chris, they've also got the fumbles that are lost. I think it wasn't even exchanged there, Marty. No, I think uh, you're absolutely right there. I think right it was there. another missed play. Yeah, caught that one a little bit late, but uh, we get the idea. 121 remaining. South has it on the 41-yard line. That was a loss of two by Carrington. Let's see what uh, South elects to do. Inside handoff, Wildman a quick hitter. Uh, picks up two or three, short gain. Keep the clock running. Tackle was made by uh, Ryan Pamperin. Andrew Wildman from the carry, tackle made by Ryan Pamperin. So we're going to have a second and eight. Showing We're going to give uh, Wildman a gain of three. We're generous up here, except Chris. <laughs> we don't want to give him any first downs. Pitch out, Schmidt. Schmidt. He's got some Ooh. blocking. Ooh, 
Good hit that time. Carrington out of nowhere. And they're gonna, he's gonna have the first down, Chris. Billy, just barely. No. First down for the Red Wings. Ball is spotted on the 49 yard line of West. 31 seconds remaining. Knuth in the shotgun, looking to pass. We want to get one more. He's got a receiver out there. Pretty good defense. Martinez makes the catch. What a catch out there by Mitchell Martinez. 29 yard pitch and catch, Marty. Wow. I don't know if I'm in for this, Marty. I was. Uh, I would have taken a knee. Martinez again showing the good hands. It's going to be first and 10 south at the 19 yard line. It's actually a 30 yard play, Chris. Steen, he's got an opening. He's got the first down inside the 10 with eight seconds left. First and goal. Ball had the seven yard line of the Wildcats. 12 yard run by Steen. Let's see, they're going to. Knuth under center. He's got uh, Schmidt in the deep position, Wildman the up back. They give it to Schmidt, second back through, and uh, he's not going to get there. And uh, South calls a timeout with two seconds left. And they're going to send in the uh, field goal team. I'm with you on that one, Chris. I don't know if I like that. I've seen this same kind of thing. Years ago. He makes this, Marty, the second half. It'll go quickly because of the 35-point differential. There'll be a running clock. See if Huffy can make this field goal here. It just skims the uh, upright and goes through. Field goal is good, and we are at halftime. Sheboygan South on top, 36 to nothing. When we'll come back, I'll talk about that uh, field goal and uh, situation that happened many years ago. So that would probably be a story from about the 70s. But we're at halftime here at South High School again. The Red Wings lead it 36 to nothing. A child's drawing, an American flag, combat boots, flowers. Thousands of mementos like these are left at the Vietnam Memorial Wall every year. Silent messages that say, you are not forgotten. The Education Center at the Wall will preserve and share the photos, mementos, and memories of veterans so their stories and sacrifice will never be forgotten. Call or click now. Help us build it. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel.
Halftime entertainment. <laughs> We're ready to start the second half, and uh, I'll tell you, Chris, people that don't get out here to these high school football games really should because it's more than just football. It's uh, quite an event. Some halftime stats: South finished with 185 total yards, 103 rushing. They were led by Ben Steen with 67 and 82 yards passing. Uh, Knuth was uh, four for five. West had their troubles. They were minus 12 passing, had plus 18 yards, or pardon me, minus 12 rushing, plus 18 passing for a net total of plus six yards in the first half. Tristan Schmidt on the return, gets it out over the 35. It'll be first and 10 Red Wings. And Chris, if you want to, you know, add some to that, you, there they are. I was surprised South just had 23 offensive plays, Marty. You know, their time of possession is just 10 minutes, too. So that, throw the time of possession, uh, who controls the ball today off, because 23 plays in 10 minutes, and they were very uh, efficient on offense. And the Red Wings get the ball here with a running clock here in the second half, so it's not going to take us very long, probably 40, 45 minutes, and we're going to be done. Now, maybe not even that long, maybe 30 minutes. Wildman, the uh, up back, gets the first carry of the second half. It's second down. Give him a gain of two. Fernando Alvarez now in, number 40 for South. Be a lot of different players probably in the, in the ball game. He's now the new up back, Marty. Okay, good catch on that. New still at quarterback. And taking it off. Tackle is... Uh, Risto Vojevic, and uh, he gets a big gain. Good burst of speed there. Yeah, you know, in that respect, uh, he reminds you a little bit of Ben Steen. Fourteen yard pickup. By the way, I like that replay visual on there, Marty. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. We're really uh, getting new truck. New truck, new package for uh, graphics and, and that. I'll tell you a little story. This is back when Fond du Lac had really good teams and uh, they were blowing people out. And I remember it was South was getting blown out. And uh, I believe it was James Bond possibly was the coach. Yep. And uh, he did the same thing that South did at the end of the half. You know, ran her down, called a timeout, Lined up, did the kickoff, and uh, wound up beating South by, I believe it was over 40 points. And uh, South people were not happy, rightfully so. And now we saw it here tonight. I don't think I like that. But no. uh, uh, What's the difference if you're winning 33? You're going to score again. And uh, I see what he's trying to do is, you know, you want to get them out there practicing in a game situation. But uh, maybe not always the best way to go about it. I'm not sure. Who was that ball carry that time? Is it number 11? No, it couldn't have been. Schmidt on the carry. It's going to be second down and about seven. Picks up almost eight yards on that play. And one of the reasons why I remember it so well, Chris, is that uh, I was in the teacher's lounge that time and, uh, you know, when all this kind of took place. You know, and they were talking about it on a Monday morning, and I don't know why I'd have been there unless I was maybe doing my graduate work and doing a lot of subbing. The other thing I would have probably done here, Marty, is I would have played somebody else, a quarterback, the second half, because you're, you're not going to throw. So let somebody else work on exchanges and things. And, okay, you know, point. all you need to do is tweak an ankle here, up 36 to nothing, you know, something goofy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you never know. Ben Steen gets rolled up underneath or something. And you've seen, you know, especially over the years, South has been hit hard by injuries, and you don't want to see a fluke thing like that happen. 
Knuth with good hands, and uh, he's spun down in uh, West Territory. Big loss all the way back to the 49-yard uh, line. They're going to mark it right at the 50. I don't know if that was a bad snap or just a... Yeah. Jake was moving a, a bit before that. Did actually look a little bit like a bad snap because he had to have good hands to catch it. Yep. And uh, South's doing something they haven't done all game. Yeah, they're going to punt. Huffman doing the punting. And uh, West has uh, Carrington back. He's a pretty exciting return guy. And Kramer, number two, has got pretty good speed. No rush. Huffman's kick is away. Carrington fumbles it. And uh, it's picked up by West. And the return guy. He could go, Marty. He got out of there. there. <laughs> Holy cow. He was all boggled up, but nobody took Chambers there. He just ran out of there. Number 21, <laughs> Alex Chambers on the return. Wow, we, do we have enough replay tape to do this? <laughs> Watch this. Fumbled, picked up. He's down, he's down, he's not down. I think he fumbled the ball again. Very alert play there. By that South player, I don't know, the Schmidt over there. First and 10 West. Ball on the 31 yard line. They haven't scored any points yet. Had a real tough time last year scoring points. Pitch back to uh, Carrington and he's knocked down right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe lost a half a yard. Forrest Martinez. We'll give him no gain. Second down and 10. You know, when you get this kind of situation, Chris, it really. If you don't have a good front line, because they've got some athletes in the backfield, they got some speed, but uh, you can't always display it if you're not getting uh, past the first wave anyway. Two wide receivers out to the left. Whoa! Almost lost it. Trying to get rid of it and throws That's it out. Grounding. That's going to be grounding. Can't throw it to a lineman. And there was no receiver in the area whatsoever. You got to throw it down now. Somebody, they're going to have to call it. Good job by the officials here. Discuss it. It should be a grounding. And they're going to say, eh, we'll let it go this time. And are they going to mark off the penalty? Oops, Oops. Yeah, it was a face mask. Could have called uh, that too. We're not going to call the ground team off the face mask. Yeah. I thought I saw a, a face mask there too, Marty. I didn't see it the first time. All righty. Wide receivers, three off to the left. South looking to blitz. They're sending a man in there. Inner, oh, almost picked off. And then, and then picked off. off. <laughs> yeah, and then picked off. <laughs> Missing it was uh, Dakota Gamez, and then I believe it was uh, Forrest Martinez making the catch. Just as it was planned. South has it at the 39-yard uh, line, we'll call it, first and 10. Good hands. There was the tip drill in action. The quarterback in for uh, South. Huffy. Robert Huffman. Stavojevic on the carry. Uh, Robert Huffman was the quarterback. It's the right thing to do. Because you'll never know when you're going to need someone to come in the game. And Huffman's an outstanding athlete. Robert Huffman is a 5'9 junior. Goes 165 pounds. He punts. He kicks. He quarterbacks. He does it all. Yep. Oh, 
Tristan Schmidt hit uh, in the backfield and knocked down. Not much blocking there. He's going to lose two on that play. Good decision here by Coach Hein. Kind of a vanilla offense, which is okay. You don't want to give anything really away to teams because obviously people are taping and you know you can give scouting reports and yeah. stuff. You don't want to show all your stuff today. You got to bet Prebles here tonight. Gregory is split wide out to the left. Huffman in the shotgun. Hand off to Ristovojevic, and uh, he's not going to get much. He gets down to about the 35, and that'll be it. Be fourth down. Mark him down at the uh, 36. Only a three yard pickup, Chris. Well, they're going to go for it on fourth down, Marty. Yeah. Might as well. I mean, you're not going to punt from here. Steen in the backfield. He's the deep back. And there's the pitch out. It's a little bit of a block on the edge, trying to cut it to the outside, but a good pursuit by the Wildcats. Steen picks up maybe a yard. First down, Green Bay West. They do hold. And yeah, we're down to a minute and a quarter, Marty. Still 36 to nothing. Yep. There you see our site that you can watch us online as well. Now, there's a lot to see on there, and it's not just sports stuff. They have other categories like community programming and community government and that kind of thing. Of course, all of you watching this game would click on sports. <laughs> and if you missed any of our classics this summer, those are all posted online. And uh, the Moyer show that uh, was released uh, this summer is online. Boosie on the carry. Also uh, the Desitel show from uh, last year is there. So probably be the last play of the quarter, Marty. Positive yards on that run. It's second down and five. Like a word I used earlier, it's a cornucopia programming. <laughs> <laughs> Boosie uh, fumbles the ball, and it looks like South has it, and they do. And that's the quarter. And that's the quarter. Making the recovery for uh, the Red Wings was Dakota Gamez. Hi, I'm Jackson Rathbone from the Twilight Series. Want to play? Did you know 85% of people who don't currently play a musical instrument wish they did? Learn how to get started at wantaplaymusic.com. I am a Packer fan. And we're Packers, Packers fans. fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are the ultimate team players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! Back at uh, South High School. It's going to be first and 10 south. A very quick quarter, like Chris had mentioned, with uh, the 36 point lead. And a running clock uh, in the quarter. At south had uh, 27, 28 yards rushing in uh, nine carries. Not much there. West had five yards in uh, two carries. They uh, only had the ball for uh, five offensive plays, and two of those five were turnovers. Oh, boy. Yep, interception and a fumble both. Well, we should be done in about 15 minutes here, Marty. 
kind of what we expected tonight, but uh, I was hoping that West would give him a little bit of fight. Obviously, we wanted to see South come away with a victory, but... Ristovojevic uh, takes it up inside the 40. Give him about a four-yard pickup on that. A two-yard gain. Second down and eight. Let's see if Alvarez gets the ball here, number 40. He, he does. Running hard. And he carries tackles down near the 32-yard line. Good run there. Yeah, he was showed some good power there. Seven yard pickup that time. Third down and one. Steen the deep back. Huffman gives it to the up back. And a short gain that time. Let's see if he got the first down. They're saying move the chains, Marty. All righty then. First and ten Red Wings. Ball is going to be spotted on the uh, 32 yard line. And a whistle. I think we're going to have some illegal procedure to see what happens there. Not many penalties on South tonight, Chris. They've uh, done oh. pretty good in that respect. I think they just have that one. Yeah, they had one in the first half, and I believe this is their second one. So that's uh, pretty good. Gregory and Martinez out of the wideouts. Ristovojevic is the uh, deep back. Huffman on a pitch out to Ristovojevic. Boris on the loose. Gets it down to about the 26. Dylan Markles again with a nice kick out block, number 41. Watch 41 with a nice kick Good. out block there. Good job. That's it. Glofflin down the field. Ball's on the 26. That's a gain of 11 yards. Stavojevic is having a nice second half. Steen on the carry gets it inside the fifth, inside the 25. Under nine minutes now. And again, very vanilla here. Very good decision here by Coach Hine. Don't want to, like you said, give up all your cards in your deck today. And this game is basically. There's a great Over. shot by Richard Bartz, and you can see the entire formation for uh, South. Pitch back to Schmidt. Markles Looking again. to get to the corner. Tristan Schmidt on the carry. I just love the way Dylan Markles is kicking out those blocks there. And it's a first down for South. Ball is going to be marked on the 22-yard uh, line. So just enough for the first down. That's the other thing about getting yourself out to these games is buy a 50-50 ticket. Yep. Okay. On the carry was uh, John Raff. No, I, no, I, no, 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 no. 10? No, it wasn't. Alvarez again. Alvarez. Good call, Chris. That's why you're up here. You got the eyes. Gain of eight by uh, Alvarez. Nice run by Fernando. Ball spotted on the 14-yard line. Alvarez is the lone setback, and uh, 
Huffman is in the shotgun. We got wide receivers left and right. Whoa! Huffman on the carry. Slips a tackler, slips another, and slices down inside the five yard line. Nice run. First and goal. Ball is going to be spotted on the two yard line. That's a 12 yard pickup, Chris, for him. Knocks it out of the, the air, that pop up. Yeah. There you see it. Huffy caught the last ball in that uh, state championship for Legion Baseball this summer, the junior varsity, and he, uh, or the U17s. And that's how he kind of caught the last out. <laughs> Oh, that's and that's illegal. Step off side. That was a big number 74, Felix Rivera, 6'2", 258 yard, 58 yard, 50 pound, 58 pound tackle. He's a junior. He will be back next year. Yeah, that's only a one yarder, Chris. Not too serious. First and goal from the one. Boris into the end zone, touchdown. Chris, I don't think they're gonna crack the uh, 35 point mark to be able to stop the clock. Nope. Although it is stopped now after a touchdown. Yep. And a nice. Hey, somebody six. tell that official to get the heck out of the way. We weren't able to see all the action. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing there? You can't stand there. The cameraman's there. Yeah. Huffman's kick is uh, through. And with 5.39 left in the ball game, it's south 43, west nothing. What do you guys want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? One, two, ready, go. Gonna pull the stops, gonna make it go. Uh, you're living on a wing and a prayer. Gonna put them things together. You know it's now or never. This uh, game crew up here for South is the same crew they had last year, but I know these guys didn't stay here all off football season because I was up here a couple times for sports day, and they do leave and go home. <laughs> I've, I've even heard some of them teach school. <laughs> the only time I'd see Sim when I would sub here, Chris, is in the teacher's lounge, so I'm not sure. He might be spending a lot of time there. And Phil, him too, Phil Risto. Him too. Yeah, he's, he's. It's not always the teacher's lounge. It's a room that's off what the lounge. What if you could ignite your child's love? Return. Oh, Kramer on a nice return gets it all the way out to about the uh, 38 yard line. They're going to mark it at the 37. Kupang Tao on the tackle there, number yeah. 21, and he's excited about that hit. He ought to be. He's a Jefferson kid. I had him several years ago. Very nice boy. Glad to see he's playing football. We don't get enough Jefferson kids out for sports. We want to see more, just like Kupang. Sister walked out with him during Parents' Day. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, she's a nice girl, too. They're all nice kids, except the ones that are naughty. Uh, Hank Kramer up the middle, slips a tackle, and is finally pushed back by uh, Emmett Dean. A uh, good carry that time. Keep running the ball like that, West, and you're going to get positive yardage for the ball game. Emmett Dean on the tackle there. Yep. Number 23. 
That was their first offensive play of the quarter, Chris. Yep. They haven't had it much here. They had almost 14 minutes in the first half, but they've only had it a minute and a half here. Check that three minutes now in the second half. Fake handoff. Oh, nice spin move that time, and running for the first down was uh, Justin Boressa, the quarterback. Jamal Jackson slowed him up, number 54. Three forty-four left, Marty. Clock is running. Hey, you got a good shot at some of the South defenders. Derek Duby, number fifty-three, and Jamel Jackson. Jamal Jackson, number fifty-four. Brian Erlacher. <laughs> oh, good rush. Wide receiver is open. Nobody was over there. Are they going to give it to him? I think so. He made the catch. Good yep. grab out there. That was big number 80. He ran that one kickoff back. Braxton Chambers. First and 10 west. Ball is going to be spotted on the 27. That's a 23-yard pickup. That got Chris out of his seat. But now he's going to run downstairs. Paressa in the shotgun. Taking it was Kramer. Short pickup. Kramer picks up about two yards. It's going to be second and eight. Chris uh, going downstairs, hoping to get some interviews for us tonight. Our next ball game will be next week when uh, we travel up to the north side of Sheboygan. They will host Manitowoc. Hand off to the motion man, Curtis Busey and uh, he gets it down near the 20 yard line. Clock running under a, under two minutes and we get a timeout. Timeout, timeout. They called timeout with about a minute 45 but uh, we'll see if they make them put time back on. Timeout called by Green Bay West. On the carry that time was Curtis Busey. He picked up about five on top of the two that Kramer had, so it's going to be a third down and three for uh, West. They want to get a score if they can. So uh, there's 144 left. That's official now. They put some time back on. It's going to be third down and about three. The ball is spotted at the 20-yard uh, line. It's been all south tonight. They've uh, played a very good ball game. Get another test next week when they travel up to uh, Green Bay to uh, play Preble. Boressa rolling to his right, looking a little shovel pass to Kramer, and he stepped out of bounds, but I believe he's got enough for the first down. Nice safe pass. First down, ball is at the, uh, you see that he stepped out of bounds at about the 15. They're gonna make call it the uh, 17, I believe. First and 10 clock running, minute left in the ball game. Oressa back, going to the end zone. He's got a receiver out there wide open. And making the catch was that big number 80, Braxton Chambers. He goes 6'5", 210 pounds. He's a senior. And West is on the board.
There you see it again though. That's hardly fair when you got a kid like Braxton being covered by a linebacker. Matt Fox trying to cover him. Just couldn't do it. 17 yard touchdown pass. See what they do for the extra point. They're going to go for two. Oressa in the backfield. Kramer alongside him. Steps back. Little crossing pattern in the middle. A little bit too high. That time the coverage was there. Actually, the player that had the coverage on the touchdown was uh, Russell Trimble, number 68. But doesn't matter. There's 56 seconds left. South is on top, 43 to 6. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. PEG Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, and PBS combined. PEG Access channels provide communities with a diverse, independent, and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. Wes coming out to... Uh do the kickoff. He kicked off to start the second half. Kicking off for the Wildcats will be Travis Hermson. Travis has had a nice game tonight. West has been out there competing. They just uh, don't have the horses. But they'll be okay. We mentioned that uh, we'll be at Manitowoc, the North game, when they play host Manitowoc. Sheboygan South's next game is against uh, Green Bay Preble up in Green Bay. And then the following week, they have another winnable game against Green Bay East. It's not unconceivable that South could start the season 3-0. and uh, They've played a pretty good game tonight, although it's hard to judge how good they are because the uh, talent level at West is... Uh, not very good, but uh, a win is a win. And there you see the, the chief. Chris is down on the sidelines. He'll be trying to get uh, uh, interviews as part of our post-game package. Hello, everybody. Hey, oh, there he is. He's down on that end, near the 30-yard line. Will the onside kick it? That is the question. It's a ground ball kick. Steen has it and kneels down at about the 26 yard line. It'll be first and 10 south. I think they'll do a couple kneel downs and that'll be it for our ball game tonight. There's 46, 45 seconds left and the clock is running. So they may not even get a play off. Knuth back in at uh, quarterback. He's uh, their designated genuflect quarterback. We're at uh, 20 seconds. West doesn't seem real concerned about getting up on defense, and now the referees call them up. Ten seconds. And uh, they may not even have to run a play. Referees are going to let it go. And that's the ball game. Sheboygan South with a big win to open the 2012 season. They played very good. And they beat West by a score of 43 to 6. Both teams lining up to do the post game handshakes. When we come back, Chris hopefully will have some uh, South players. And I'll have some stats for you, and we'll wrap this ball game up.
I'm really not that talented. You're not a trick. You're too fat. You're too short. Too early. Why don't you just give up? Give up. Give up. Just give up. Traditional facelift surgery requires an incision be made along the hairline near the temple Time and then this. goes around. Now the traditional facelift surgery, the traditional facelift surgery, the traditional... Miss Thompson, now the traditional facelift surgery requires an incision be made along the hairline. Near the Anyone can wear a white coat, but not everyone is board certified in plastic surgery. Be safe. Be sure your doctor is a member of the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. I'm Bubba Stewart. Want to play? If you haven't picked up a musical instrument, maybe it's time to start. And there's no better way to express yourself and have fun with your friends. Learn more at wannaplaymusic.com. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. We're back here with two happy Red Wings here. A victory for them over West Say Forest. Let's talk a little Thanks, bit Sam. about. See you later. It's got to be nice to hit somebody besides your own uh, jersey colors every day in practice. I know you had a scrimmage last week, but it's nice to get into a game, huh? Yeah, it is. It's really good to uh, get some practice beforehand and felt real good to hit them. Hit somebody else of a different color than your same practice guys all the time? Oh, yeah. Uh, coach, get you guys all set up. You know, it's always that first game jitters and things like that, but I thought defensively and offensively you guys clicked very well, especially on defense. I thought the tackling was outstanding tonight. Yeah, we did a real good job. We just got to work on some, uh, some wrapping up and holding on, and uh, I think we'll be good this year. I think you did a real nice job there. One thing I think you guys, I know your up front guys are real tough, but uh, one thing I see this year or I noticed tonight was speed. You guys have a lot of speed back there. Yeah, we do. Our running game is going to be great this year. We just got to keep working, and uh, our running game should be great this year, yeah. Yeah, and it's always nice to start out in front of a nice crowd. Came out, you know, school hasn't started, but uh, you got a lot of support. Oh, yeah. The fans here at Red Wings are great. They're, <laughs> they're great. Yeah, so how's the first couple weeks of practice been for you guys and fine-tuning yourselves for today? Let's we'll start with two days. We worked hard. We, we never gave up. I know our opponents, they don't, they don't go through what we go through, so I know, I know we'd all paid off in the end. Well, congratulations to you. We'll see you in two weeks. You can stay here. Ben, three years here now. I, I know that especially that second half of the year you took off, but you took off today, got a couple touchdowns. Nice, nice job uh, running the football. Thank you. Um, I guess, you know, it wasn't all me, though, and I couldn't give enough credit to my linemen and fullback. You know, we've been working in practice, and even through practice, you know, I'd give them slaps on the butt, and, you know, I can't take them enough. They open those holes up big. You know, you don't have to be a great running back to be able to hit those holes. Yeah, I really did think, again, very few penalties for you guys today, and, you know, for being the first thing, as I mentioned with Forrest, they said sometimes maybe there's jitters and things, but I thought the coaching staff and your team was, was ready to roll. I, I agree. I think, I mean, everyone's going to have those game jitters. I mean, it's, you know, it's nerve-wracking. It's Friday Night Lights, but I think our coach prepared us very well, and I think, you know, if we can keep doing that all this year, we'll have a great season. Now, Jake Knuth takes over, got quarterback in. He threw the ball right on target today, too, and I know we got another, a lot of exposure by your wide receivers, but you got some guys to throw to, too, which should open things up for you as well. I agree. Um, I think... You know, we've got a lot of talent this year, and whoever we can get the ball to, we can get the ball to. You know, none of our team is selfish. Whoever can put the points on the board is going to do it, and I think we'll be happy with the W either way. Yeah, I know they, the receivers did real well in the scrimmage last week and, and two touchdown passes to, today as well. So, you know, should nice nice mix of running and passing the ball. I think, I think we're doing a great job this year of, um, like you said, mixing it up. But, you know, our goals this year, we have a lot of goals, and we're just going to keep wa working harder to get towards them. So, Yeah, I watched the end of the year out. Uh, games you know thing there it seems like a lot of guys are committed and it seems like a real close knit team this year as well we're going to hope we can be as you know tight as a family as we can and just work harder than we did last year and just keep working and see what happens well we'll see you in 2 weeks gentlemen and good luck this right. th this week in practice and especially good luck at Preble get that first one on the on the road Thank you.
With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Chris, uh, Ben Steen, one of the players interviewed there, was uh, South's leading rusher. He had eight carries for uh, 70 yards. Forrest Martinez played an outstanding uh, defensive game. Uh, South opened it up in the first quarter, scoring 20 points. It was 20 to nothing before uh, the first quarter was over, or by the time the first quarter was over at halftime. South led it 36 to nothing. They scored one touchdown in the second half. Uh, West scored one, ended up uh, 43 to uh, six. South a winner tonight, so they opened the season one and zero. West goes to uh, 0 and one. South finished with uh, 258 total yards. West had only 54, uh, but they did show signs of uh, being able to do something on the season. Hopefully. Uh, they do have some good skill athletes. They're going to have to uh, brush up a little bit on the uh, inside blocking. But uh, otherwise, not a bad game for South. They did a good job defensively and offensively and, and win the ball game. Our next broadcast is going to be next Friday when Manitowoc comes to town to play uh, Sheboygan North. We look forward to uh, bringing that ball game to you. Uh, also, keep your uh, eyes peeled for uh, replays of tonight's game and uh, the coaches show. And uh, keep in mind that uh, all the broadcast and games that we, uh, there you see the schedule coming up for us. But uh, as we move through the season, make sure you uh, keep track of that uh, WSCS uh, Sheboygan webpage. They have a lot of uh, programming there that you'll want to see. Uh, for the crew, Richard Bartson on the top camera, Eric Wiesman on the field. Scott Mailoff in the truck, my partner Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.